This week on Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to build a comic chart. What you're seeing in front of you is the difference between the latest year and the previous year. So, for example, under accessories, you'll see that um, the latest year was 59,000 and the previous year was lower at 41,000. Whereas machines, we have the latest year is lower than the last year. So, how do we do this? Let's start. So I'm just going to bring in my subcategory and my year of order date. So you can see we have 2019 and 2020 for both, uh, for all of those subcategories. So we're going to bring back just the 2020 sales. We're going to do this and we're going to call this max year sales. And in here, we're going to use a level of detail calculation and we're just going to say the max year of order date close it with a curly bracket. I'm going to hit apply and then I'm just going to drag that onto my um, label so you can see what's happening. So that's just bringing back the 2020 term. So what we can do now is we can say if that max year equals the year of order date then give me back the sales. End. I'm going to click OK and you'll see that that's now updated. We're going to just duplicate this and change it to max year minus one. And on here, we're just going to say after the level of detail, we're going to do the max year of order date minus one equals that year of, of those sales. I'm going to drag those into my view again so you can see what's happening. So I have my max year minus one and my max year sales. Awesome. Let's calculate the difference. So I'm just going to remove. I'm going to put my measure names on my columns and remove my year. I'm going to create a calculated field and just call this difference, if I can spell. And then from here, we're going to use a function called sign, which is going to give me a 1 or a minus 1. So if you have a look in the description, it gives you a 1 if the number is positive, a 0 if it's neutral, and minus 1 if the number is negative. So what we can do here is we can say if... Um, that the max year sales minus the max year minus one sales and it's going to give me a one, a minus one or a zero. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to drag that into my measure values. So you'll see here that we have two or three minus ones which are our negative values. So how do we build that comet chart? I'm going to start a new sheet, drag in my subcategory onto my view and I'm going to drag in my max year sales and I'm going to sort by fit entire view. Next, I'm going to add in my max year minus one. I'm going to drag and drop it on top of my max year sales so I get a shared axis. Not looking so good right now, but we can carry on. I'm going to change this to a line and I'm going to add move measure, me measure names from rows to my path. Doesn't look much different now, it just looks like a line from one to the other. There's two options for the comet chart. You can either control or command drag measure values to size, which then gives you a slight feel of a comet chart. You may just have to play around with the sizes a little bit to get where you want. But what I like to do, and I'll just undo that, is I'm going to copy measure names onto size. So again, hit command or control, drag onto size. This gives us that point at the end of the comet to the new comet value. From here, what I can do is that difference calculation that I did before, I'm going to drag and drop that onto colour. This is going to give me my colours, but I'm going to just change it to discrete first and then change my colours accordingly. So I'm going to edit colours. One is green, minus one is orange. Now we have our comet so that we can see our negative values here. Finally, adding our label, we want show mark labels to the line ends but at the end of the line and notice how we have a the label underneath here and some bunched up labels down here we're going to add a reference distribution band so if I add reference line distribution change this to 110 of the maximum value and then I'm just going to remove the labels and the tooltips and click OK. 
And we're going to do the same for the minimum. So we're going to add another reference line, distribution, and this time we're going to say minus 10% of the minimum value. Click none and none again and click OK. And now we have our full labels to the left or the right of the comic chart. So this is how you create a comic chart in Tableau. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you. See you soon.